this is our first gondola in over a year now. That's crazy. The last gondola we were on was in Switzerland, which is just wild. And if you've watched our Swiss vlogs, you know how much we love yeah. the gondolas. <laughs> So it's our first day in Telluride and we're starting out the day by doing the Bridal Veil Falls hike. <laughs> we're just gonna go up to the base of the falls. It's not like it's really flowing that much since it's September and there's not any snow runoff for it to really, you know, have any steam. But this is just a really pretty hike through the aspens. They're all changing. Should be fun though. It's not that long. I think it's what, 2.4 miles out and back, so. This is only like a mile or so, but Elevation gain is a lot, so bring water. So about 0.8 miles up the trail, you come across this waterfall, and this is not Bridal Veil, but it is beautiful. And it's a nice little stop off, so we might eat a snack or get a drink. Made it. It's a hard hike. It's actually a lot of elevation, elevation gain. Yeah, I can't talk. I'm so tired. That was a nice hike. So, like I said, we made it to the top with a little strength and a little effort. <laughs> Took us probably just over an hour. And it was exactly 1.2 miles, and it was really pretty. It was through that forested area the whole time, and. There was the leaves all over the ground and everywhere, so it just looked like a little fall wonderland. And now we're starting the trek down. Shouldn't be too bad. It's pretty much all downhill, because I know for a fact it was all, all uphill, the front first part. I don't know why, but you come across like, all this green, you're going through all the green, and then all of a sudden, bam, it's just like all yellow. It's just so pretty. It's such a cool time of season to be here. So. They like glow right now. It's so cool. Yeah, they're so yellow. It's so pretty. river running through here, hence the bridge, but uh, there's no water coming through right now because there's no snow or anything. She has been putting her face in all of these deep dark holes <laughs> on the way up. It's been freaking me out. <laughs> so we're about 0.1 or 2 miles away, but you'll know you're getting close when you can see these beautiful blue little pond areas again. Very beautiful teal color. Very pretty. Huh? <laughs> Did you see that? All right, that wraps it up for this trail. We're gonna head into town and uh, venture around town a little bit. All right, we are on the gondola here in Telluride, and man, let me tell you, it is so pretty here right now. We just, it's just, it's in fall season, so it's all changing and. So beautiful. It's so pretty. We're going up the gondola right now, getting all of our views. You see our hotel and everything down there. It's just, it's like yellow and green and red everywhere. We love it. Yeah, and this is our first gondola in over a year now. That's crazy. The last gondola we were on is, was in Switzerland, which is just wild. Um, so. And if you've watched our Swiss vlogs, you know how much we love yeah. the <laughs> gondolas. <laughs> this is just a simple walk from our uh, hotel we're staying in. Yeah. Oh, and, well, they're not allowing anyone outside of your party inside of these. Oh, really? So it's, well, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, social distancing. Oh, cool. You want to be in an enclosed space? Oh, I, I see what you're saying, just random people. Yeah, um, yeah, The big so. thing about this one, though, versus Switzerland, is it's free. So oh, you don't have to yeah. pay any sort of price. You just, you go get in line. Ella doesn't like it, though. Hasn't been decided yet. I think she's, I think she's just in a mood. <laughs> So we just 
this went through the San Sofia, passed through like a little station. Thing. Yeah, this goes all the way to Mountain Village on the other side, which is more of a ski resort. Um, you just kind of walk around it, but we thought we'd go all the way. Why not? Yeah, as soon as we came out on the other side, as you can kind of tell, the sun is like right there, but. It is really pretty because it just kind of reflects off the top of the trees and you can just see like their true colors, the yeah. yellows and greens and reds. It's beautiful, as we said. Our little hotel apartment we're staying in has a stove, which we haven't had since Glacier. Yeah. So <laughs> we've been eating sandwiches and microwave food since. Or, <laughs> yeah. yeah, since. So. Yeah, there's your pro tip for traveling on a, a good budget. And is during to, COVID. <laughs> is to maybe eat out once or maybe, you know, twice if it's necessary. Uh, but other than that, just kind of save your money and spend it on experiences and not just food. Absolutely. But when you have the money to spend it on a food and experiences, you must do that too. So once you get off at Mountain Village over there, just walk over here and then you can get on the gondola that will take you to the city center. We're just walking downtown right now, just kind of seeing what it has to offer. We just walked like the entire length of the main street, which is Colorado Avenue. And there's a bunch of different like pubs and shops and higher end shops for sure. <laughs> the architecture is cool. You have this awesome view of the mountain at all times. Mm -hmm. We're obviously budget travelers, so it's not. It's yeah, not we're not like, going to go. Like, oh, yeah, wow. Let's go get dinner there for yeah. a $25 pizza. We got ourselves some beer from this place called the Wood Ear here in Telluride. And you know they're just serving beer out of the window and we're waiting on some fries. They have like all these open public seating areas, but none of the actual seating areas are open right now, so we're at this random bench. So we just found a table and I just went and got our fries. They are sweet potato fries with just like some green stuff on the sides and we have like this creamy chili sauce with it. And then I don't really know. I think that's just like marinara or something, but we'll have to try it. I'll give you guys a taste review of the woody wood ear. Switch your fries. I don't know why it was so hard. So they're perfectly crispy. And then this sauce, this is like the cream looking sauce, is kind of spicy. But it has kind of like an aioli, like a garlic aioli taste. And then this is a red beet sauce, so it's pretty sweet. And it tastes really good with the fries, which I would have never paired sweet potato fries with beets before. But yeah, we're going to enjoy these out in this beautiful weather. There's some live music playing down there. And I just really like how much outdoor seating a lot of these towns have adapted to have so that you can sit outside and enjoy your meal safely. I love how you feel about standing on it. The sky's over daily red. It's kinda overrated. It's more like my moving ears. Nope, 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 nope. nope.